Don Fernando here for Pro Boxing fans. Morning after the night before. Tommy Fury, give me your reaction. Unbelievable. Your brother's become two time world champion. Yeah, it's, cra it's crazy, really. I still can't get my head around it. Um, it's just mad, like, you know, from, from where he's been, you know, for the past, I don't know, you know what I mean, from where he's come from. It, I, you just couldn't write it, you know. Do you know the good things happen to good people? I've said it all along. Um, mm. Tyson was made to fight. Tyson's the best heavyweight, in my opinion, to ever do it. A man that size doing what he does, he can fight going forward, he can fight going back, he can switch up. He's the best to ever do it, in my opinion. And you know, it's just, you know, my happiest man in the world for him, I really. Am. You're one of the only ones that's just told you off camera to say that he would win by stoppage. Yeah. Um, why? I mean, not many people believed he'd do that, but it was emphatic, wasn't it? For sure, 100%. You know, I, I think the lead up to this fight, a lot of people were saying Tyson can't punch, and even Wilde says he's got pillows to fist, but yeah. Wilde's end up getting stopped in seven rounds. But it's, it's ludicrous. You can never say a man 270 pounds and six foot nine can't punch. Mm. You know, he's had 30, 30 and 0 now, and he's had 21 knockouts. That's a puncher's record. He can punch, and if he hits you, you're right. You're going, like you saw with Wilder. He made Wilder quit and retire. It's the same thing you've done with Derek Chisora. It wasn't even close. Mm. He just he completely showed levels there. And like I knew he would, because if Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson in 2018 after losing 10 stone and coming back from what he came from, then how, how, how did he stand a chance now when Tyson's active, been fit and fighting regular? So it's, it just showed, you know, it's like Mayweather when he fought all these greats. Yeah. You have, you have great fighters and then you have elite fighters. You have, the, you have that one in a million and Tyson's that one in a million. The rest are good fighters. They'll beat any other man on the planet, but there's them and there's Tyson. That's just the way it is. Do you think that'll be a trilogy? I mean... <laughs> I think if there is, I think the only reason Wilder will take it is because it's a good payday. Um, yeah. But you know, it's 2-0 now to Tyson, everybody knows. Tyson won the first one, and he obliterated in the second one, so it's not been close any two times. You know, Wilder's just got that punch, and everyone showed tonight, you know, you fight fire with fire, and that's what Tyson does. Tyson's got the biggest set of balls that a man could ever wish to have. Um, and he showed that there and then by knocking out well, the, the, the hardest hitter that's ever been. So you're saying he's number one heavyweight. Most people said that last night. But does he have to fight Joshua to completely decide it? No. No? No. no. He, he doesn't have to prove anything now. Mm. Um, but the Joshua fight will happen because, you know, as a British man myself and along with the rest of England, along with the rest of the world, they want to see that fight. Yeah. But in my opinion, the three top heavyweights is Tyson, then Wilder, then Joshua. You know, I don't, I don't believe fighting Joshua decides anything um, because Joshua is just, he's a good man, but he wouldn't beat Wilder and you've just seen what Tyson's done to Wilder in seven rounds. So I think that, that'd be a good, that'd be a good ride for Tyson. That What'd nice little bit of show well the ring walk. Epic, wasn't it? Well, you wouldn't get any better, would you? I mean, it was fitting for a king. It's fit for a king, and that's what Tyson is. The gypsy king, the king of boxing, the face of boxing. There's your man. What did he say to you last night, immediately after? Just it, just, it was just an emotional time, you know. It was just, everyone was sort of just, you know, thinking what was going on, all that sort of stuff. He, like, no one really took it in because, you know, that was history last night. That was the biggest fight, yeah. you know, in generations. Um, so, you know, it was all part of history. We all done it and now we move forward. Um, but yeah, that just solidified his, his legacy last night as, as the best, I, in my opinion, as a heavyweight. You know, Imam Ali, one of the best, of course, but you got to look at the facts. Imam Ali was you know six foot three six foot two this man's nearly seven foot and 20 stone yeah and he's moving like a middleweight like i you know what i mean it's i'm not i'm not just not taking enough away from Muhammad Ali because he you know what i'm saying he's up there he's the one apart from tyson in my opinion as a heavyweight a man that size should not be able to yeah. move like that and i think it's fair for me to say i think a lot of people think that a guy seven foot and that big should not be able to float on his feet like that it's, it should not happen Absolutely. Tommy, thanks for your time. No problem, uh, mate. Bit of a rush. But uh, yeah, cheers for your time. No and, uh, problem. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations.